hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel um, so today as promised I wanted to talk to you about um, how to wear print and colour to slim uh, your shape um, first of all I just want to show you um, my new mirror that I got um, it's a, a lovely size mirror and I got it in home base here in um, Carlo uh, I'm delighted with it. I picked it up on Sunday and it was um, reduced from 120 euros to 60. So I'm absolutely um, thrilled with it. So you'll see lots of outfit posts now um, with my new mirror. Anyway, back to uh, today's topic. Um, so just if you are, I wouldn't get too um, caught up on um, body shapes. Um, if you're unsure what shape you are, you know, don't get kind of um, overwhelmed or stressed by that. Um, the most important thing is to know kind of what you um, what you like and what you dislike um, about um, your your body. So um, the areas that you don't like, um, they're the areas that you kind of just downplay and ignore, um, and uh, where kind of the dark colours and the black colours there, and then the areas and parts of your body that you do like, that's where you push um, or wear uh, print and uh, colour. Um, you want them to get all the attention. So print and colour um, captures people's um, attention, um, and that's what people will look at and notice about you, um, and just ignore the rest. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try on a few different outfits to kind of show you what I mean um, by the print and colour placement. Um, so I'll get into the first look now. Okay, so um, I'm in the first look and this is um, for kind of the strawberry shape um, lady, um, which means you are broader on the shoulders and uh, the, the boobs um, and slimmer kind of on the lower half, um, slim legs and slim hips. Um, so you um, place the colour on the lower half because that's kind of where the attention will get um, will go and then you're play, wearing the kind of dark colours, plain colours um, on the top half. It doesn't have to be black um, and of course for the summer um, you'll see there's lots of kind of colour and print trousers um, around and skirts of course um, as well. So it's a great kind of um, time of the year to, to try um, this out. So as I said, you're wearing the colour um, on the lower half, uh, showing off the slimmest part um, of your body. Um, and just again for the strawberry shape, um, V necklines are actually quite slimming rather than high uh, necklines. Higher neckline will make um, your boobs look even bigger. So just the V neck draws the eye down uh, and shows off a nice little bit of um, skin as well. And also like little uh, cap sleeves or shoulder details will also um, have a slimming effect. Uh, so we will actually, I just wanted to talk to you then also about the straps as well. Say, you know, for the summer we'll be getting into kind of strappy tops um, a little bit more, hopefully when the sun shines. So I just wanted to um, to show you here. So if you are larger boobed, um, to stay away from kind of the, um, the skinny um, spaghetti straps um, and go more for the um, the thicker. I know now this is moving away from kind of print and colour but just um, it's just a nice little uh, tip. So go for the wider, you can go for actually um, even wider straps than that but just to choose those rather than the thin spaghetti ones. Okay so now sticking with the, the strawberry shape or the lady that is larger um, on the upper half so broad shoulders, larger boobs and lovely kind of slim skinny legs. Um, you're placing the print on the lower half um, so the lower half will get all the attention the eye is drawn down here the upper half is kept just uh, simple no fill, frills um, just black colors dark um, and darker colors as well um, and um, this will have a slimming effect um, on your shape and again I'm just showing you that the straps here actually like I was saying so go for uh, the wider straps rather than the skinny spaghetti and also when you're going, choosing kind of skirts and dresses um, the A-line kind of shape or some, you know anything with kind of like even a little peplum or frill and that adds just a little kind of bit of volume that will um, a little volume to your lower half thus making the upper half look uh, slimmer um, and again you know if you have good legs um, wear your skirts kind of above the knee uh, show off uh, your legs okay so that's the strawberry as well now so for my next look and um, this is for the pear shaped lady so the pear shaped lady um, is larger on the bottom half 
so she has curvier bum, uh, thighs, uh, hips. Um, so this is the area that uh, you don't like and you're kind of a little bit um, paranoid about. So what you do is uh, you just wear the dark colours on the lower half, plain dark colours, um, and keep it simple on the lower half, and then wear the print on the upper half or colour on the upper half um, and all the upper half then will get all the attention and down here in the area you don't like it'll just kind of just be ignored um, so you can see it's a great kind of way of um, doing that um, and even just little details like these little cap sleeves or any kind of um, shoulder details like that also has a slimming effect um, on the lower half um, so that's that's the pear shape so you're just kind of downplaying the area you don't like and adding the print or the colour um, on the upper half. Um, you'll also see that um, with dresses that you can get that they're built in with the print on the top and just a block colour on the bottom so they're kind of good to look out for and vice versa for the strawberry shape that wants to draw the attention to the lower half. Um, you can get dresses with the block colour on the top and the print um, on the bottom half so they're uh, good to, to watch out for as well. Now, next up I'm showing you um, an all over print. Uh, so the lady that would wear um, an all over print um, would have either straight figure um, or the um, hourglass figure. Um, so both shapes, the straight figure or the hourglass figure, um, they can be slim or they can be a curvy in size. So the straight figure um, kind of would be much uh, like my figure where your hips and your shoulders are much the same width. Um, um, and the difference between kind of the straight and the hourglass is the hourglass has more of a defined uh, waist. So she would have kind of, you know, curvy hips and curvy boobs and a tiny waist, um, but it would be balanced. So with the, um, with the hourglass or the straight shape, be it curvy or slim, you want to show off the entire, um, the entire figure. So you wear a print um, all over. Also then just when choosing your prints, um, if you're curvy in size or shape, um, go for a larger um, print um, and it will slim you down um, and if you're small a petite in, in size go for a smaller print so you're matching kind of the print size uh, to your your shape because um, if you're wearing if you're curvy and you're wearing a tiny small print it will emphasize um, your size and vice versa um, with if you're very kind of slim um, and lacking curves the the large prints will make you look even more um, even smaller um, so that's um, the all over print okay so um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, picked up some tips on how to slim your shape and um, with the help of print um, and color um, as always, if you have any questions, please comment below um, or you can contact me um, on my Facebook page um, or by email, lanystyle at gmail.com. Um, so please hit the like button if you enjoyed this um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, I'll attach links to um, all my social media pages as well if you do want to follow me. Uh, so keep an eye out for, um, for more videos soon. Thanks a million for watching. Thank you.